Happy Wednesday, everybody. I know y'all hear my air conditioning pumping. It's hot out here. It is hot. No, it's Thursday. Dad, boy, that, e that eclipse and full moon, that blood moon, we made it through. Happy Thursday. Yeah, I've been hearing a lot of people taking what I'm saying on their platforms. What's up? Little old me. And then I be getting censored. I ain't think nobody was paying me no mind. They say I'm crazy. But evidently they is paying me some mind. So I just heard somebody use my stuff word for word on a platform this morning. But it's all good because it's more where that came from. That means you know what I'm saying? You can't you can't you can't be somebody else. We all got our own specific calling. Can't nobody take nothing away from you. That's a compliment to me. When I see people that's, you know, famous and they so well known and they got all the sense and stuff and I respect a lot of people but I'm just saying you know it's okay it, it's good it's all good I ain't I don't even I don't even look at it I seen the times when I was in my lower self I would look at that in a negative way but why when there's more where that came from I'm leveling up and I'm getting more downloads and you know knowledge is, is it's a blend in, in the spirit the great mother uh Ola and Mare want to get the message out and that's wonderful because I wanted to get out to like more people not saying that I know everything and I got all the knowledge and but you know it's some stuff I really be putting together because I really be putting the work in and it's just good to know that you know these these very important people these VIPs listen to me and take my advice now y'all need to start cash apping me or something you know what I'm saying it's cash 2477 dollar sign y'all need to start sending me some money y'all taking my shit you know what I'm saying? Y'all using y'all shit. Y'all, y'all taking my download. It's cool, hey. Cause you know what I'm saying. I've, I've always done that. I've always given knowledge out. Um, I've given it out freely. You know what I'm saying? And I get blessed more than seven times over. It's not all about which. Hey, we need some money now. We ain't saying we need it, but they created this. They created and set this matrix up where you do. You know, you have to have money or whatever. You you have to. You have to have common sense. Um, what is my title today? Shoot. Happy Thursday. Happy Shango Day. Shango. It might be, I don't know, it might be some mama oil mixed in with the winds and storms or whatever, but I know Thursday is really um, Shango Day. They got it from, uh, that's where they got the Thor from. I know this area is pumping. It is hot. It's hot, but I be out here. I be out here sun gazing, just getting this third eye. That's how I be. That, that's how I be knowing all this stuff, getting all these downloads. I ain't, I ain't scared about getting dark. I be out in the sun, and you know they say after this um, what is it, blood moon and this lunar eclipse that 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 sick sun done rose up. So it's about to really get hot out here. I'm glad I got this melanin popping, cause. You know what I'm saying? I don't know what I'd do. I ain't gonna lie. I don't know what I'd do if I didn't have, didn't have this melanin popping like this. I'm so grateful to be here at this appointed day and time. I always used to have visions and dreams of different things. And, and then sometimes I thought they were like nightmares and whatnot, but actually they were like visions. But it ain't no better time than this time right here to be alive and in the land of the living. And the trumpet has sounded, and the dead in Christ has arisen. I say, I say, oh, and the new, you know, it's new energies, it's new spirits, it's new God. It's it's some God said He gonna do a new thing, you know, just like that song I always refer back to, my first song I ever recorded that I'm, I'm remixing now, so brand new. You know, we gotta get rid of those old mindsets, uh, those old programs that no longer serve us. Um, even some people. You don't have to. You don't gotta be cold, cause it's a lot of cold, coldness. And like I said last night, I was all in my room chilling or whatever, plain Jane or whatever, and that's fine, cause um, I used to be so conscious of 
oh, is this per You know, I used to wouldn't even get this as a testimony because I used to be, I, I write and sing and all that, but I used to be like having a, a fear of getting up here on um, video and even talking to people. I mean, the, just that pandemic, it brought that, it even brought that out of me, you know, brought a lot of things and the people that's crossed my path, you know what I'm saying, whether they were meant to be in my path permanently or just temporarily, but it brought some good things out. You know, at first it didn't feel good and, you know, and facing fears and getting over things and, 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 and even a lot of childhood traumas and stuff like that. You know, some of the um, energies that I've, I've, I've encountered has brought now things that I thought that I had already uh, healed from and gotten over and look, I'm like, well, dang, I gotta revisit these places cause I ain't where I thought I was. I gotta do some more deep soul work. What you call it? When you say shadow work, people to start thinking about you talking about something bad, that's good. That shadow work ain't no joke. You know, you gotta, you gotta face yourself. You gotta face yourself before you can face anybody else and tell anybody else anything. And you know, that's what I do a lot of. I do a lot of experimenting and working on myself to see, you know, what works for me, what don't work. Like, um, I know I had started uh, eating, stop eating meats for a while. Then I went back and I ate meat for a few days. My body was like, hell no. You can eat it every blue moon, but you ain't about to get back in that little animal state because I ain't lying. Soon as I started back eating it, when my cycle come on or whatever, the menstrual pains, boy, they started back kicking my ass. Like, I'm like, what the fuck? Like, when I was not eating, when I won't eat any meat, which I ain't, now I'm like in going in fast mode, yes. Cause, but when I went in the food and the meat be so damn good, like when you ain't ate it in a while, you get you a, a nice tea bone or, you know, I like them good cause I like them good cause of me, you know, my mom always said, she was like, Love, you eat good, which I mean, I, and I couldn't cook it. Like, so I don't, she, I don't, I mean, it ain't too many foods I ain't ate, and, I, and I'll and i cook them. Like, I just can't eat the same thing over and over again. I like different meats. I might want some lamb, I might want some lobster, I might want some shit, some squid. I, and I can cook this stuff. That's the good thing about it. I mean, I know how to cook the things that I want. I don't just have to go out and buy them or you know, wait for somebody to take. I know how to make it happen. Hell, I, I go. I can go. I can go and hunt, which ain't nothing wrong with that. You know, you gotta be balanced. You never know when we might gotta go. Yep, I'm talking about a lot of things, but it's really just good energy, happy, shampoo day. But um, a lot of times you might gotta go out there and, 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 and how do y'all know? The way things be going now, we might gotta start bad hunting. You better have those skills on there. You better not be scared of the, of the of women used to hunt. You think women didn't used to hunt back in the day? Them Amazons and stuff. Shit me. I know how to go out there and, 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 and hunt and then go in the kitchen and cook it and be, fe and be feminine with it. I mean, it's just balance. You know what I'm saying? I know if I got a man that's gonna do it, my sons, they know how to hunt. That's fine. If they need my assistance, I'm willing to help or whatever I can be. You know, I don't gotta be in charge or none of that, but I mean, you know what I'm saying? We've been we've been in positions where we had to play different roles. That's not a that's a that's a good it's a bad thing and it's a good thing. Because you can be too far to the right or too far to the left or too up or too far down. It's not good to be one side or the other or too far up or too far. You need to be the polarity of balance. That's a blessing to be able to be balanced in all things. Cause if I'm too righteous, I'm still fucking up. If I'm too far to wickedness, I'm still fucking up. If I'm too feminine, that's not good. If I'm too masculine, that's not good. We all need to be balanced, even the men. You know, we have to be balanced. They didn't, they didn't teach us this in school. No, they didn't teach us none of this in school. But um, what I posted about forgiveness, what surrender, release, surrender, um, Healing, unconditional love, freedom, rites of pas passage, compassion, and empathy. Which I might not be saying it in the order that I posted it, but that's what we need to be focusing on with this um, energy that's going on with the planets and the, the blood full moon, triple full moon, or whatever it is, and the, the lunar eclipse, um, and the way the, the energies are lining up. 
it's time for it to stop because it's a lot of people it's a lot of coldness going on people ain't thinking about nobody you cannot be in that mindset about fuck you me me we've been you know what we've been we've been stepping on a little guy much too long and i say we because we are the collective I don't do this shit. I always took up for the little guy or the one that's being bullied because I don't been in that position where people have, you know, turned against me and call me crazy when I be trying to speak my truth. And, 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 and I mean, it's, it's such a shame that we live in a society and we are such a people that we are so cruel and cold hearted to individuals, to our sisters, to our brothers, to our loved ones, you know, that we hurt people and we join the bandwagon and we hurt them and hurt them and kick them and kick them and kick them and even set them up. Sometimes we done set people up to fall and they didn't go down far enough as we thought and we mad about that. You know damn well, when you dig a dish for somebody else, you better dig one for yourself too. Cause what it say, and I, and I, and I use the Bible in with ide ideas, uh, logics and thoughts and morals and, uh, mindsets and and, and, and and you know uh ideal ideals as far as astrology too you know you can use the different these are ideals and stuff like that it's not a history book by the way okay i will not digress it is not a history book it is for you to take the concepts and use them to raise yourself up to a higher dimension that's what all those religious books are for because they are originally from us and you know the the original spirituality system those concepts were taken from that taken from the, the 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 ancestral fathers and the ancestral mothers the ancients and all that and the scrolls and the sages the oracles and yes the witches and all that and it was used and put into context and they put them into character form but even you know i ain't even gonna get it all that i ain't ray hagan today but um we heard p get back on subject we beat people down and hurt them and injure them. And then when they ain't fall up, I guess we want them dead so they can kill themselves or something. People will. People will sit there and bully people, kick them down, kick them when they down. Um, I mean, for years, they'll have their foot on your head because they feel like they want to take it out on this. Like, let's say if, if I'm a person and I think I'm better than somebody else, and I want to pick on somebody and take my frustrations outside because I don't want to look inside of me. I want to point a finger at you. So I'm going to take my frustrations out on this person that I think that don't really matter and they ain't going to do nothing about it. And I'm going to keep right on fucking with them and 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 fucking with them. With them. When I know, I know I, don't, I wouldn't cross that boundary. Partiality is partial, impartial. I wouldn't do that to Sally over there, but I'm going to do that to... to Jenna. I'ma just I ain't even saying no names of no people I know. But I'ma treat Sally with respect. It's certain things I won't say to Sally. It's certain things I won't do to Sally. Oh God, Sally, I love you, girl. Let's just oh I respect you. I won't even look at Sally the wrong way. But uh Jenna, when I see Jenna, I'm it's girl, look at that bitch. <laughs> she thinks she she ain't nobody. Ain't nobody thinking about her. Look at her. She stupid she ignorant look where she come from and she ain't gonna never be nothing she ain't look everybody don't nobody like her she ain't got no clout she ain't got the money like uh this like uh uh what's her name over here sally ain't got she ain't got the money in the pool and the power like sally got she's a nobody nobody's gonna believe anything she's but let me tell you just like joseph in the bible you see what his brothers did to him and y'all know where i'm going at because it this it that that mm. huh. I'm about to start. Just like that concept, that ideal of Joseph in the Bible, when his brothers threw him in that in that uh, thing and sold him in, in that ditch or that hole and sold him into slavery, what happened? That's what y'all need to be thinking about. Them stories like that. That's that's a real concept. I don't know why these people keep looking at me. I don't. I'm very friendly when I need to be, but I stay to myself. I don't because it, it's. It, it's too many damn matrix, too much matrix shit going on now with it, which I'm still sociable. And I, you know, communicate as a spirit lead me. I'm just not one to be just ha ha. I'm happy all the time. I am. And I noticed, I noticed here, I don't know if it's everywhere, but my homegirl said the same thing this morning. When you are feminine at the woman and you happy and you go places and you just know how to, you know, just be a lady and not, they mad with you. 
Why do these people be, even the women, they be mad. I, look, I ain't got no reason to be, and she said too, she be wearing white. And they be, I ain't got no reason to go around here popping my mouth and rolling my eyes and not smiling. I ain't saying I'm smiling in everybody's face and being too friendly, but I ain't gotta be no, eh, eh. No, I'm not gonna act like that because I see too much of that. It ain't cute. And any man that's used to a woman, act, it's, it's, you need some help. You you really need, that ain't how no woman should be acting hateful and nasty and mean all the damn time. I mean, come on. I I grew, I mean, I've been around that. I don't want to be around that. I don't be around women like that. I don't be around that shit. They act like that, then you can counsel me. I don't want to go to none of your events. I don't want to be around you. I damn sure don't want to eat your food. If you that nasty and mean and hateful, you putting your eyes in that food like that? No, thank you. I, I ain't got nothing but some string beans. And I make do with that and some butter, butter or some shit. You know butter, hell, everybody, some people, y'all know about this. You know that butter be good when you pour that water out of <laughs> that water out of them cans, string beans, and put that butter in there and let it cook a little while. Cause I know my people used to do it back in the day when they, cause she made them fresh, she grew them. But every now and then, she get tired, and she want to do something fast, she showed me how to hook them damn canned string beans up where they taste fresh. You know what I'm saying? Y'all y'all country girls, the the old, the real old school, them, some of them don't know nothing about it, because it's something that's older than me. They can't, they don't cook. They can't cook. They, I don't know. They, mama's cooking. I love that. I love old boy. What is it, Kwame Brown? How he talk about, that's real. That's real spiritual talking about mama's cooking do you realize mm, that people think that's the that people think people from certain areas is stupid and they can just they they what they say don't matter they crazy. y'all better wake up that's where everybody a lot of the blacks they came from yeah that's where them ships landed a lot of us can't our ass people came from the south because that's where them damn slave ships ported at and uh, where is it king james or uh, jamestown virginia and, what is it down here where you know my area on uh, South Carolina, North Carolina, the uh, the coast and all that down by Myrtle, what they call it? It won't Myrtle Beach back then and uh, Moorhead and all that. Even in down in Plymouth and New Bern and, and down there in uh, uh, Hoski and all them places and, and, and other places too. You know Emporia, all that uh, Baber or New Bern. Yeah, they came in through by right that way. Then they moved up north and or wherever, all over the world, all over the U.S. and out of the country and all that. And people, they fled from the South. They fled from the South. That's where their roots is, the South. Even my dad, he was raised in, in uh, Virginia, my my stepdad, but he his, he grew up in New York and whatever, and they, they established themselves in New York, but they came from the South. When they, And I consider Virginia, I ain't even consider some parts of um, Maryland is to be the South, you know? On a, you know, on, on, on certain sides. I, I, cons- I don't consider that like the North like that. Some people tell me I'm wrong, but from my research, that ain't really like the South South. I mean, like the North North like that now. But I love it. I, I, I mean, I, lo- I love Maryland. I love D.C. and all that area. You know, and I love the North too. Because I was actually, um, I had, I was blessed to be able to have both experiences of the North and the South growing up. I was, you know, a lot of summers I spent traveling and I'm so thankful for that. I spent it up north and in, in the western parts of the world and stuff. I'm, I'm so thankful because that has really, that helped me a lot because I would see two polarities of like how the people are in the south and then how the people are in the north and then how, you know, the people are out west and all that, you know what I'm saying? Traveling out there to the mountains, Kentucky and different things and everything, you know, going different places or whatever. But, um, I'm, a, I'm, I'm appreciative of it all. Like, I don't think one is better than the other because stuff exists everywhere. You know, racism and good people, bad people, they're everywhere. So, like, I, 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 learned, this, I learned this from experience. A lot of times when we leave location, we run it from ourselves because location is everything. It is some better areas that are better than other areas, but a lot of times if you fix the, the area that's going on inside of you, even if you do need to relocate, every, you'll make better decisions and everything will work out better for you because you have fixed the main problem, which is self. I gotta go. But, um, yes, ma'am, I mean, we, like I said, I'm getting back on subject. Um, you know, people pick on the grown people and after a while they think they can, when they get comfortable, 
They really think they got it. They think they got away. That's what get me. You ain't getting away with shit. You ain't getting away. You can sit up here and say karma don't exist and, and it's all in what the shit. I know I ain't even done had the shit that I done seen some of these damn people do. I ain't done had the shit that I could have done. And I and and and, and I, my my north node is in fucking Scorpio, so I can go real deep and dark. But it's some shit I won't do because I'm balanced and I ain't perfect. But it's just some stuff I won't even do. And I done seen motherfuckers cross them lines like more than once. And I'm like, you sitting up here thinking you don't violate universal and spiritual laws. You don't violate not just universal and spiritual laws, but you also violated laws of the land. And you really think you good? You 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 disrespect. Yes, honey, I tell you, I'm, I'm thankful for my grandma, my grandma cooking. That's what I say, my grandma cooking. Sarah, Sadie, Sadie Mae. I'm so grateful for that cooking and her sitting my ass down and telling me, just teaching me the regular manners of yes, ma'am, no, ma'am, and yes and no, and, and how to treat, even how to feed people and stuff like that. Like, I've been doing that all my life. As long as I can remember, I've been sharing my food. I'll share my food with anybody if they hungry. If they want something, I got. Even my children used to get on me when I was in the city. Um, well, the city in North Carolina. <laughs> it's considered a city. So, and it is a city, the capital, and even the Queen City. Even, I remember when I was in the Queen City, I had neighbors. They and we and we we had just moved there not too long. My husband be like, "Oh, you ain't gonna feed nobody around here," which I understand that because he a man. A man is like that. And I'm respectful, you know, I'm, I had to grow and learn, you know, cause I got, like I said, when I did get married, I got married as a teenager. I'm not married now. I stayed married a very long time, but I'm not married now. Um, but, you know, I had to learn that some of the things he was saying was right. And, and I guess, <laughs> you know, you don't, they don't want no man eating they woman cooking. Cause if a man eat that woman cooking, boy, he gonna be like, damn, you know, she can really burn and she's nice looking and blah. Anyway, but like I said, even when I was in the Queen City, I was like, you know, if people wanted, needed some, it was a hard time when we moved there. I don't know what was going on in Mecklenburg County. It took me 30 days to get my children. I'm like, I ain't never had no situation where it took me this damn long to get my kids in the school system. I was like, I better homeschool, which I, I have, not full time, but I have basically like, part-time homeschooled them because I was teaching them the real history and all that since they were little little things. We was out in nature because that's just how I am and how I was raised up. So we was always doing our own schooling at home anyway and the spirit was like take them out completely but I I didn't I didn't really know like I wasn't too confident in my uh, intuition in as I am now and so I you know I didn't do it because my husband and my mother they was like against it but I know when the spirit told me to do something else when they got a little older, I said, shit, I didn't listen when they were little, but I'm gonna listen this time. I handled that and it worked out good. I sent them to, a, um, I had to send them away to a school so they could get, um, you know, I sent them to a, what is it, military? I sent them to military school when they was like 15, 14. Cause I noticed they were getting off track. They were, my, my, this is why I know so much about sports because my family are sport. My, the the area that I grew up in in North Carolina, my people, you know, my people from Kent, my daddy people from Kenston, so a lot of the NBA ball players come out of there. Even football, even even the area in North Carolina where I live, my people, my family, the people I grew up with were very good ball players to the point. They're better than a lot of the people that made it to the NFL and NBA, and I'll get them props. I'm talking about my brother, my ex-husband, my cousins, my family members. They were all American. Even my ex-husband made semi-professional ball teams. Like, I know about this stuff, and I even would attract it. I ain't bragging, but I ain't even gonna say nobody's name, but I done pulled a damn more than one NBA ball player that I did, I turned down. And they, you lying, they like big, they like, they like chunky women too. I done turned them down at UNC, and I done turned them down at Charlotte Hornets. So I ain't bragging, but I'm just saying, I've been around sports all my life. I've been, I've been around sports. I be at the um, hospital, and one that was already signed with the NBA, he on the court telling me to come to the game at UNC. 
you know what I'm saying? A few, a couple, and, 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 and you know that how they say, you take a picture, but one time people just think it's luck. Honey, this done happened in two, three different cities. It ain't just happening in, uh, in Chapel Hill. It was happening in Charlotte. And I won't even pay nobody no mind. So my baby on the phone like, oh, mommy, he trying to get your number and trying to take... You, I'm like, boy, if you don't go sit your butt down, I am not trying to, because I ain't really never been wanting to be in the limelight and hooked up with no famous people, because I know what come with it. I didn't even want to be no famous person myself, but it just so happened, and I'm not famous. You know, I still consider myself, you know, I, I consider myself, I'm somebody, I'm the elect, but I don't consider myself no famous person or nothing like that, you know, but I'd rather be rich than famous. But I ain't, I ain't with all that. I like to be in the background, you know, hiding and all that. I like to be behind the scenes making the money. I'm one of them. I ain't, I ain't impressed by all that uh, fame and, you know, who know me. And I because I don't like being, I like my freedom. I like to be able to go and walk in the woods and the trail. And ain't nobody fucking with me because I don't want to have, see, I'm from the country. I don't take too good at stalking. I might do something to you. Shit, I ain't with that. I ain't with all that paparazzi follow me around. I can't live my life and be free type of shit. Uh-uh. Walking around with security. In the, uh-uh. That's why I didn't talk to a lot of famous people anyway, because I ain't, I ain't got nothing against it. it. It's cool that that's what they want, but I don't even want nobody to know I'm dating nobody famous, honestly. I don't, man. You know. Shit. Um, but, you know, that's no big deal. They human just like everybody else, but like I'm saying, for me, I know about sports. I, that's what I grew up with. I've had to be like the cheerleader with my ex-husband, with a simple profit. Matter of fact, his best print fit the uh, few of his friends done made it to the um the semi-professionals and professional teams and, and all that. And my homeboy is the retired. I ain't even gonna tell y'all who he is. But he retired from the Pittsburgh Steelers. So, you know, from back in the day, but he still used to play for the Pittsburgh Steelers. And that's my that's my that's my homie. So, you know, I've I've always um, you know, I'm a I'm a I'm a little southern southern country girl, but I've always been in the mix with famous people. And then the things that I do, the talents that I have as far as on um, music and writing and you know, I've been on TV a little bit and this and that, but I don't consider myself no famous person. I consider myself the unknown and I like to keep it that way. You know. I consider myself the but I know who I need to know. I know some powerful people. You know what I'm saying? But when I'm, you know, when I'm ready and everything, and I and I didn't want to be, you know, I turned down a lot of things because when that, like I said, when I wrote that first book, that I was hurt and I was angry. You know, I had a lot of things going on inside of me or whatever towards my ex. But I just wrote that to get, you know, to kind of get back at him. I want they want about. I didn't write. I. I was happy when it got his attention. That was my goal, to get his attention. He took me on the show or whatever, which that was, I just wanted to get on his level and show him, you can't pimp a pimp or whatever. That's all, I, I got my satisfaction. I wasn't gonna take it no farther than that, and I really didn't. I didn't even think it was gonna go as far, because I was really joking. It was comedy, really, but it was truth in there, but it was comedy. I ain't gonna sit here and be like, everything I said wasn't, no, it wasn't a lie. It was true. But it's the way you say something. It ain't what you say, it's how you say it and your intentions and your motives. And I had to go back and re-examine my motives and stuff and say, is this gonna help the community? Cause they were trying to, they took his book down, put my, I'm not, I'm like, no, nah, ain't about to be no Oprah Winfrey or no damn Gail King or no damn destroying the damn black man. I'm not about to do that. I'll take my money another kind of way. I ain't really going out. And like I said last fast forward, mm, God, I got everything. He'll let you go back and revisit the things that from your past and, and the, the universe tests you to see, have you leveled up? Are you still in that same place? And once you pass them tests and once you surrender and once you forgive and once you revisit them areas and learn your lessons and once you let go and show love and compassion to people and look at people in the way you want people to look at you and say, look, I know this person ain't a, a happy, happy Chicago day. I know that I'm not perfect. I know I got some things in me that's not right. I know that they got some things in them that's not right. But can we just kind of maybe work together to try to help heal each other and kind of show each other some compassion and, and love and understanding and empathy? Because people going through stuff, it don't matter how much money they got. They got some stuff going on with them. We don't need to keep hurting each other. 
tearing each other down and destroying each other. That's not my thing. I don't, I, I don't never want to do that to nobody. I don't, I definitely wouldn't want to do that to somebody I call myself loving, somebody I call myself that I was in a relationship with, or somebody I wanted to be. Not even, not even nobody I don't, don't like, but I mean, come on, you had some type of, you don't want to do that. That's a, that's something you don't want to do. But when somebody come for you, when they, when they come for you like that a lot of times, you done been through so much, and you done, you know that that shit ain't right. You know that what they trying to do, and you tired. You just tired. So sometimes, like they say, you can wake up. They say you woke up asleep and be, uh, poking a bear, waking up asleep. You don't woke up a God. You not, it's not gonna work out. I told y'all months and months ago. I said, now it's gonna come a time, and this is the time we are here. Everything is gonna be done in the dark, gonna come to the light. A lot of stuff gonna be uncovered. And if you ain't ready to change and vibe up and be a part of the collective and show unconditional love and compassion and respect, you got to be careful what you say out of your mouth to people and about people. You're going to be held accountable because it even say in the Bible, and I'm talking about concepts and ideals and astrology and, 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 and codes to live by. When you judge somebody else, you better judge yourself. It's say when you dig a ditch for somebody else, you better dig a ditch for yourself. And what measure you judge with that measure of wheat, that's talking about my yacht and the scales and all that. You're going to be weighed by the same feather and stuff. You're going to be weighed by the same feather. You better be light as a feather. You can't. It's, it's happening. We got to share that dead skin and share them. Oh, it's not going to work. I told you. I said it. You can go back and look at Moon God is 777 on YouTube. They probably won't. It's probably hard to get to my videos because them, they motherfuckers know I be speaking the truth. I might be a nobody. I might be crazy, but they know because they be taking my shit down. And they be putting me in faith. If I'm a nobody, and ain't nobody listening to me, and I'm crazy as fuck, they say I'm crazy. You know that Damon Dash, Kanye, anybody speaking truth and speaking with damn sense. Even even my own family members sit there and tell people that I'm fucking crazy because they know I'm speaking the truth too. And they know them demons in them don't want to be delivered. So they'll sit there and tell for that shit. You better listen to them motherfuckers that they call crazy. You better listen to them motherfuckers. I don't, look. I ain't trying to kiss no ass and make no... I wouldn't care if a motherfucker would leave me shit when they die. I don't give a damn. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to be free. I'm going to have a certain amount of respect, but I got respect for the spirit, too. Now, all this elderly stuff... These people ain't no elders no more. We, we got robots and agents and all that shit been going on for a long time. I love them. God knows I do. I done took care of them. I done sacrificed myself. Look, they done crucified me over. I be telling people, when I was doing my little Hebrew Israel like thing a few years ago, I said, look, we done died over and over again. I done been to sacrifice. I done rose again on the damn third, fourth day, fifth, sixth, sometime. Over and over again. I'm tired. I'm just tired now. I mean, I'm tired. I'm tired of seeing this thing. My soul done got tired. My soul, oh, I'm an old fucking soul. My soul done been here a long time. I'm tired of sitting there seeing this shit over and over again. These motherfuckers sitting up here being toxic, destroying generation after goddamn generation. You know, they say after you hit 40, you a legend. I'm a damn legend. I've been sitting here observing this shit. Don't you think I, I've been praying? And who is it? Who is it? Um, Frederick Douglass um, says, what is it he's saying? Say, I prayed to God all these years and years and years. But then, God didn't hear my prayer until I got up on my knees and started praying with my feet. You're damn right. Sometimes you got to pray with your mouth and speaking and calling this stuff out with love, with in the right motives and intentions. People sit there and will say, oh, you negative, you negative. All you do is bring up the past. All you do is talk about, look, how in the hell are we going to, you keep right on fucking with people, doing the same thing. Even if you're not doing it, you adding in a badness. Like if I sit here and I see somebody doing something to somebody and I could say something and I don't say something, I have become a conspirator. I have become a conspirator because I'm going to tell you, I I, don't, I know a lot of people and I like, I'm sure a lot like me and, some, and I'm sure some probably don't. But one thing about me, I'm, I'm not no two-faced person. I'm not going to sit here and talk about you behind your back and get in your face and act like I'm going to tell you some kind of way like you fucking up. Like I might say some shit. I ain't going to sit here. I ain't going to say nothing. But I'm going to tell you like look you fucking up. You need to handle this shit. I ain't going to be like shaking your head like yeah Gary everything cool. 
that, I'm be like, yo, that is some fucked up shit. Like, I, I, I gotta tell you, cause I, can, I ain't gonna say nothing behind your back. I ain't gonna say your face. I mean, I ain't perfect. I got my faults. But I'm gonna let you know. I'm not gonna just kiss your ass cause you a famous person or you got a lot of money and you giving me this and that. I'm gonna tell you cause I, lo I truly love. I know what love is. I know what real love is. I always did it, but I, I, I do now. So if I care for somebody and I really love them, even if it's a risk of me losing the relationship or the friendship, whatever kind of shit we had, well, I hope it ain't no shit. I'm going to tell you the truth because I want you to be a better version of yourself as I want myself and I examine myself all the time. I'm not just out here telling people stuff without putting myself through these tests and stuff like that. I'm telling you stuff because I love you, not because I hate you or I want to judge you or I'm, you know, picking on you and, and he, he, he. You know, when people pick on you, they done gave you a death sentence. They done told you, you will never be nothing. He, he, you ain't going to never. I done had people. And I was in a state of suicidal mindset. And I've had, this ain't recent. Hell no, it ain't been recent. Now, it's back when they thought they could, you know, they could, they thought they could really get it in on me. I done had people tell me, and I was in a fragile mindset, done had a breakdown. I felt like I didn't have nobody in this world. Like, I, I really didn't know nothing about the, the Orishas or the, 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 not a lot about the, um, the Maya and Horus and none of that. I just had no, religion can't take you for so far. You know, it only takes you to a certain level of the uh, uh, solar plexus, and that's as far as it goes, the sun and the heart. And, down on to the lower self and all that. I done learned my stuff. I done learned, I done studied that drill life, man. That, that Kabbalah, all that, put it together with the Astros. And you talk, I talk that talk. I'm a country girl, but I got some new city and international glamour. I know some shit. And a lot of times, whew, this is crazy. But it's not crazy, it's spirit. I've been talking about this blood moon way last year, but I've been talking about it to myself in the spirit. And actually, before I even knew that the planet was on the cusp of the the solar, what is it, the full moon, or it was in, it was in, it's in Sagittarius. But I also felt in the spirit that it was on the edge of Scorpio because I was feeling that deep Scorpio energy. And then it was confirmed. That's why I told somebody in my family, they asked me where I get my information from. I said, listen. I get downloads, because my aunt told me, she used to tell everybody, I was, she was like, I dream, I used to dream. And she'd be looking scared when she said, it used to scare me when my auntie used to tell me this. She said, I dream you were from outer space. And I'd be like, ooh, maybe I am. <laughs> ah, that's funny, I'm a comedian too, you know. But I was like, as a little kid, I was like, ooh. I done seen some space people. <laughs> yeah, I done seen it. <laughs> uh, I remember the first time. I, I don't know if this was, this was crazy. I won't do no drugs. I might have been smoking a little bit of but I knew what was in it. I know what y'all about to think. Y'all about to say, she was smoking something that was laced. I wasn't. Because I, I know, you know, I don't smoke now, but I have in the past. But I, I know how to roll it in all that, honey. So it won't really lace it with nothing. And it won't. But, so I knew what was in it. But I was in the woods. And I when I lived in the woods, I liked living in the woods. But I didn't know I liked living in the woods. It'd be some spiritual shit going on. We was chilling, looking out at the moon. Because I've been moon gazing and all that. Man, I done seen... I done seen some damn space people around a damn car. I want that high. I'm telling you. Cause I got a high tolerance anyway. You would never ever fucking know like back then, but I'm good now. Like I, I done smoked so much weed. I, I don't need it no more. <laughs> and y'all, we had that good thing. I don't know. I know when loud, I remember when loud was introduced. I, don't ask me how I know, but I do know when loud was first introduced to this area. Cause I was one of the first people that was like, you know, in the in the loop, cause I was, you know, dealing, you know, hey, you know what I'm saying? I, I knew when it hit the city, I was pretty much one of the first people to actually be able to experience that. But um, I'm special, no. <laughs> oh 
<laughs> but uh, I didn't really know what it was, but you know, I hey, I just had a connection or whatever. But um, hey, but um, back even before that, we done had kind bud, all that the Jamaicans. I, I done smoked with the real Rosses and all that. I mean, I'm talking about Ross Safari is back. Not no ones I just recently met. I'm talking about back in the day. Like, I, those are my people. You know what I'm saying? That they consider me like my sister. She is actually from Jamaica, and I mean we like. I, that's my that's my sister from another mother. So she taught me a lot. I'm I'm so thankful for that lady. Cause that lady that's one of the ladies too. When I got up in like my 20s, she really taught me how to treat men. Yeah. Them Jamaican women. That that lady said, I'm talking about a lot of stuff. She said, I don't understand how you black American women, you have babies with these men, but I see the women, they always getting their men in trouble, calling the police, locking them up for child support. How is he gonna help you if he's not in the home? When she said that right there, that right there, I went somewhere and said, I said, you know what? I ain't never heard it put like that. It, what in the fuck is we doing? That's when I started. I, I, that's when I changed. My, I was young, like real, real young. That's when I started really. I was like, which I was always one of those people that was like, I see what they were doing to the black man and all this and that and how they were using us against them. But that right there, that sealed the deal. Along with my pastor knowledge and, you know, the, the that lady right there. Yeah. Yes, honey. Yes. And there's some of the other other women and stuff like that you know it was it, i didn't have many but i had enough to balance me out where I, I, I woke up real fast but i'm just thankful y'all have a happy um thursday or uh, shango day and um that's it that's all my subjects talk about everything happy happy shango day happy thursday i got a i got people calling me you know i got some i got some stuff i gotta finish up so um yeah, you just people just better be careful because you don't know when you go. You don't know it might be the wrong. You fucking with somebody, it might be that time. Then they you gonna get washed in the current now. You better leave people alone. Go somewhere and sit your ass down. Stop using them same fucking tactics you've been using. Trying to and you and the people that you messing with, you know that's God. Ch you know God used a simple thing. That person that you thought it was over. That I told y'all, y'all be thinking it's over for people. Y'all be thinking that that little shit they be doing or whatever, that was it or whatever. Like for instance, running a ball up and down a damn court, making points. That ain't that ain't what God called you to do. That ain't that man in his purpose now. He divinely when that when you divinely align, can't nobody touch you, can't nobody stop you. Y'all have a happy Shango day, happy Thursday. I gotta get out of here. Peace out. Power to the people.